your friendly neighborhood Spider-Man versus the Dark Knight. Put them both in a large box and let them duke it out. Who comes out on top? Just how strong is Insomniac Spider-Man? Spider-Man has been able to slow down a crane, which we've estimated this heat crane weigh over 300,000 pounds or about over 136,000 kilograms. But take it with a grain of salt, just know that the crane is really heavy. Spider-Man has webs that can hold the weight of a helicopter strong enough to even throw its tail and even pulling one with almost zero difficulty just like how he poses women, Black Cat especially. Spider-Man can scale around miles from tanked a large explosion that could blow up a part of New York, has gotten blown through a building, took loads of electricity, got hit by Electro when he ran through a smokestack, and Spider-Man started fighting again like nothing happened. While on Rhino's back, he's gone through buildings, signs, cars, and multiple explosions with 14 broken bones has dodged electrode electricity at point blank which would put his reaction time higher than 167,770 miles per hour or about 270,000 kilometers an hour took down all the sinister six in the span of a week resisted the mind control and demons of Mr. Negative. Spider-Man also uses a large variety of webs to capture his enemies and even beat Taskmaster in hand-to-hand -hand combat. Even though Taskmaster studied Spider-Man for days, he's smart enough to make an antidote of Scorpion's poison in a matter of minutes. Let's say for reference, Spider-Man is having a bad day. MJ died, Aunt May fell in the sewers, and Miles got eaten by a rhino. Even his apartment burnt down, no one else's apartment, just Peter's apartment. Now let's say you, a normal person, is robbing an old lady for whatever reason. Spider-Man then catches you, you punch him, break your hand, actually you break all the bones in your body of how durable this man really is, and then he punches a hole right through you. Now keep in mind, Spider-Man always holds back. The Dark Knight. How does the Cape Crusader fare against your friendly neighborhood Spider-Man? Arkham Batman is known to have peak human perfection. Batman knows most known martial arts and has an extremely high IQ. Batman's hand-to-hand -hand combat has been shown to beat the likes of Deathstroke, Ra's al Ghul, Ninjas, Tiger Force, Militia, and even Shiva. He has bested the likes of Shiva, which is known to be unmatched in a fight while also being outnumbered. When Batman fights in the games most of the time, he's not just fighting one to two guys. You're fighting multiple men at the same time. Batman fights like 20 ninjas shown in the fight with Raz in Arkham City. He has also beaten the ninjas to the League of Assassins and even beaten its leader, Raz al Ghul, who has had hundreds of years of experience. Batman has some heavy hitters in his rogues gallery, consisting of the Joker, Killer Croc, Enhanced Bane, Solomon Grundy, and even Poison Ivy. These villains being monsters in their verse, with Joker surviving a literal helicopter explosion, with Batman being relative to Joker. With further proof, Batman survived Arkham Asylum exploding, which would make his durability large building level. Batman has also dodged basically everything the game has thrown at him. Blades, guns, RPGs, and able to react instantly when a gun is pulled on him. Batman is also able to move at massively hypersonic speeds, in which ways being relative to Catwoman, dodging electricity, and even beating her while blinded. Batman has resisted poison shown when he fought Copperhead, and easily got out of hallucinations shown how he handles Scarecrow's fear toxin in the games. Bane was able to throw Batman clean through a brick wall in Asylum. In Origins, Bane punched Batman through solid concrete. Keep in mind, Batman got out like nothing happened and ended up winning both times. He's also got his back snapped in half in Origins and still went to fight in the same night. Bane in the comics was struggling against the Titans and in the games we see Batman taking on multiple Titans with relative ease. Bane also lost to Grundy and we see Batman take him out with little to no issues. Remember this. Well, what the f*** does it look like that? Remember this, Batman took down his entire rogues gallery in one night. He is the Batman. The scaling is honestly pretty close. If you don't want to count Peter being relative to Miles in like durability wise, and Miles who tanks like a city explosion, 
If you don't want to count that, then it's actually pretty close. Batman taking Arkham Explosion to the face, like Arkham literally exploded and Batman lived. And with Peter on Rhino, he is on Rhino going through multiple explosions with both reaction times being actually close. Peter dodging Electro's attack at point blank and with precognition or his spidey sense dodging Electro's attacks like easily. And with Batman fighting and beating Catwoman while he was blinded while in the bios of the Arkham game saying she can dodge electric attacks makes the fight way closer than it seems. So the skill gap's pretty immense. Batman's skills are far more superior than Spider-Man's. He's basically trained in all martial arts and has beaten people way stronger than him. For strength, it definitely goes to Spider-Man. Not really comparable in this category. Unless we see Batman lift up a car or throw a train, I don't think that Batman's even going to come close. For Battle IQ, it would go to Batman for sure, seeing how he is able to adapt to any situation he is in. Showing how he handles Mr. Freeze. For attack potency, Spider-Man takes the cake by a long shot. Spider-Man is able to dish out way more than Batman could, and has fought people that has a higher durability than him. Like Rondo, for example, who was able to go through multiple buildings like they were Lego pieces. So one way the fight could go, is Spider-Man would lash out a bunch of punches and obviously these punches aren't held back, he's not pulling his punches and Spider-Man would hurt Batman enough to maybe kill him or knock him out but this is like an extreme hypothesis as this version of Batman, Arkham Batman, just doesn't die. If you want to compare villains, I want you to give me one villain that is comparable to Electro and if you want to compare Rhino and Bane, all I'ma say is even though Bane punched Batman through a concrete wall, a brick wall, even grabbed Batman from the ceiling, I haven't seen Bane smack a big, like, probably five-ton vehicle with ease and run through multiple buildings, bro. You can compare them, but I personally can't compare Rhino and Bane. I can't compare Electro to anybody. Vulture and Firefly, I guess you can compare those two. So, personally, I think... You know, Spider-Man would win because his villains are just stronger. I don't see anyone in Batman's rogues gallery really holding a candle to Spider-Man. So, personally, I think Spider-Man will win. But it's time for my friend to tell you how he thinks Spider-Man versus Batman would go. Since they're in a small box, I think that Batman has a slighter advantage in this. The fight would be close corner. It would come down to skill, strategy, and endurance. Batman has fought opponents in small spaces that were way stronger than him. I don't think that gadgets would really play a factor in a small space. Maybe like Spider-Man's webs or Batman's sonic batterings. But I don't really think this would matter in this case. If the fight comes down to skill, strategy, and endurance, I think that Batman would take this one home. You could argue and say that Spider-Man could overpower him, but Batman has been in situations like this before. A great example is how he fights Grundy in City. To say that either one of them slams is a bogus and biased answer. This fight is really close, and you can make a great argument for either one of them. In my opinion, I think Batman comes out on top. But hey, it's just for fun. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed. And thanks for watching.